when I show up at my new job, how do I make friends? By being unconditionally charming and well-spoken. Too much? No? All right. Welcome to the first official episode of Nick Media JA. I am your host, producer of this channel, Nicardo Lanaman, and we're back here with the iconic flush white background. You know, thank you for the growth and support that I did receive during my, you know, up and down phase. That's what I'm calling it. Don't know why yet, though, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. But thank you for the support once more. Thank you for the subscriptions, the watch times, the likes, the comments. Thank you for it all. So today we're doing 20 personal questions about me. Well, it's not really about me, but my thoughts on certain situations. So without further ado, let's go. How have my friends influenced my personality? Well, I well I have to say that the friends that I have made and kept over the years, they did help. Well, they I learned from their experiences basically well not everything but i learned from some of the mistakes that they have made and mo many of them if not all they did help to motivate me towards the path of pursuing digital media as a career path because it's, they realize that it's something that i'm good at you know we often realize that hmm? let me not get too let me not go too deep no continue all right we often realize, we often don't realize, sorry, that we're good at certain things. It takes others around us to really point that out and say, hey, you know, say, hmm, you know? So, digital media is something that was easy to me, you know, video editing, audio editing, 3D modeling, um, stuff like that. It was something that came easy to me that I didn't realize was harder for those around me. And they helped to point that out and helped me help to push me into the path of digital media so yeah and you know it's a very free and laid back type of industry and personality wise you know i'm fun loving jovial all of that so i think my friends <laughs> you know help to enable that fun loving side of me and that's how they really influenced my personality what is my guilty pleasure I'd have to say my guilty pleasure is really um, pineapples on pizza. You know, I strongly believe a pineapple should be on pizza. You know, it, it, it tastes extremely delicious on pizza. Not true. Pineapple. Yeah, pineapple is supposed to be on pizza. I believe that, yo, pineapple make for go on pizza. That's my guilty pleasure. Having pineapples on pizza, even though many people don't like pineapple on pizza. I, I don't see how people find it disgusting, but my guilty pleasure is pineapple, pineapples on pizza. If I died, if I could relive this life that I have now or choose a different life, what would I choose? Well, I'd relive the life that I have now because I know certain things are certain in this life that I have. And I we'll realize, you know, many people have some passion expensive and lavish life they have their lavish lifestyle but they're unhappy and then people that they commit suicide mainly and you know so i believe and i'm very content with the life that i have right now granted i wish i had more money but who doesn't you know so i'd say i keep the life i'd relive the life that i have now the thing is if i if i had a recollection of the experiences that i got in this life and i could like relive bro but yeah, I just relive this life. Cool? Yeah. Do I have any regrets? Of course. Everybody have regrets. Everybody have regrets. Depending on the situation. You know what type of question that. Yeah. If you want me to list out the regrets, me nah. <laughs> no. But yes, I do have regrets. Do I ever feel that some people may be better off without me in their life? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> this guy no i am an asset to everybody's life around me trust me yeah have i ever bullied someone or been bullied yeah i went to cornell college it 
it's an all boy institution. Yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's a rite of passage, it's a must. You understand? So, yeah, of course. If I ever bullied someone, probably, of course. Have I ever been bullied? Psh, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Do I resent the way I was raised? No, absolutely not. I think I got some good morals and values out of my upbringing from childhood to adulthood. So I am very grateful for my um, parents and guardians, the persons, the, the people who raised me. So, yeah, I'm very content with how I was raised. I believe that they did the best with the little that they had. Do I hold any grudges against anyone? No. It's a waste of time in my opinion. And hey, my sign is Aquarius. So, if you believe in zodiac signs, I don't. If you believe in zodiac signs, really, then I am supposed to be void of emotion. I can't hold grudges. I can't. I'm just detached, really, from emotion and emotion and sentiment so yeah i don't hold grudges against anyone uh, people who do that supposed to be very unhappy in a life am i more likely to avoid conflict or engage in conflict it depends on the conflict it depends on the conflict and with whom but if it is better to avoid it i would avoid it if i prefer people who shoot straight at me or temper their words Talk to me straight, my youth. Talk to me straight. I'm not so hung up with myself that I can't take correction, criticism, or harsh words. You understand? As I say, I'm going to all boy institution. You would have to take harsh words on a daily basis. Um, daily basis. So, there's no reason why you need to spare my feelings. Or, <laughs> the reverse is true. I don't feel that there's any reason why I should spear anybody's feelings to sugarcoat uh some criticism or something like that so yeah that's truth straight there's no reason for temper your words if i could eliminate one weakness or limitation in my life what could it be well this is a very tricky one a weakness Nah, I wouldn't eliminate any of my weaknesses. Because, you know, weaknesses is a must. If you're perfect, then you're basically God. And none of us are, are, are God. So, a limitation, however, is a monetary lim limitation. You know, money limits many of us. And be speaking about my life particularly, I wish I had more. You know, that's a limitation. I could buy better gear. I could live more luxuriously or... I could have a more enjoyable life, not saying that my life is enjoyable right now. But yeah, that's a limitation. That's a limitation. And if we're talking about generally with society, you know, if we could remove the limitation of money, then we'd remove certain hierarchies that we haven't. Huh? May I go off on one tangent? How difficult is it for me to forgive someone that doesn't apologize? It's not really difficult you know it's not really difficult but what i do know is that i'm going to keep that person at a level you understand so if you know so they can't admit something wrong or apologize when they need to apologize just know say oh them not mature enough for deal with certain things just go hold them up on a level you get what man says so keep them at a level you can't still be friends you can't forgive them and say okay you know i just do that I just so you stay but uh, I will not grudge against nobody, as I said earlier. It's not difficult to forgive somebody, but just go up them on a little level. Yeah. Levels to this. <laughs> yeah. Do I hold any convictions that I'd be willing to die for? Not right now. No. <laughs> no, not right now. I don't have such convictions that I'd be willing to die for, that I'd be willing to give my life for. So, no. No, right, no, I'm mean, gonna have no convictions. It was, nah. When I show up at my new job, how do I make friends? By being unconditionally charming and well spoken. Too much? No? Right. 
why do I think it's hard to date these days? Well, I think it's so hard to date these days because our business is so much in the open and a relationship is between two persons is not really a relationship within um, between two persons anymore. It's a relationship between everybody on this person's social media and everybody on this person's social media that there's no couple's time really. There's no time to be together with one another. There's no time to understand. It's only time to show time to show up and time to do so yeah and we don't really value long relationships anymore or marriage or anything that our grandparents they valued so yeah that's my answer to that question sir am i currently happy with my life definitely i am very happy as a matter of fact extremely happy and i know that come a couple months time i'll be absolutely a hundred times happier than i am now so yes i am extremely happy with my life extremely trust me you have no idea what is the one thing that i think i can never outgrow a blanket uh, i don't think i'll outgrow a blanket if you know you know if you want to know hit me up on my instagram at, at nicklan underscore one and ask why i say a blanket and yeah as i said if you know you know but that's one thing i th i don't think i'll ever grow um outgrow because you know it's, it's been since birth until now so yeah as we say if you want details hit me up on instagram what foundations need to be in place for a relationship to be successful bro not tell me for some relationship expert i don't know um you know cliche answer communication understanding what are the most annoying things men do in relationships i don't know i've never been in a relationship with a man before would i rather get married or is it too much of a hassle good question good question yeah of course i'd get married why not definitely i'd get married when you're upset do you need space or attention again if you know me you know this one i need space yeah i don't need attention i don't even need attention otherwise when i'm not upset so when i'm upset uh, just give me space you may have two or one day but i mean just recharge my own battery you get what i mean say i mean good so yeah definitely space who inspires me the most can i say myself yeah i tend to draw inspiration from the unending well of myself because that's where we need to draw inspiration these days because role models tend to disappoint over time so yeah i just want to say i draw it from myself every day i try to strive to be a better version of myself and do better than i did the last time so i i'm gonna say i draw inspiration from myself cliche no yes no all right who am i i am a being of sound who has a message to resonate to somebody in the audience today somebody watching this video some hmm? too much thought so is that what my name okay, right, cool. my name is Nicardo Lanama I'm 25 years old and I live in Montego Bay St. James Jamaica and I am the producer of this lovely channel called Nick Media JA and I have a degree in digital media production after going to school for a bit too long and thank you for watching if you have not yet subscribed, you can go ahead and do so. Click like and also leave a comment. Feel free to check out my Instagram. Don't be shy. You won't be the first. Many people go ahead and head over there and ask me a lot of questions. And some people just come over there to talk. So feel free. I always respond. Remember to tune into my channel every Monday and every Friday where we will have a video upload on Mondays at 3 p.m. Fridays at 1 p.m. Thank you and I'm signing out.